good morning. So it's been uh, about a week since I last recorded. Um, I basically took the week off uh, to deal with some other stuff that I have going on and probably wasn't worth recording that stuff. Um, so back, back to my schedule now. Um, but what to do? So um, last time I just quickly um, recorded a few things that I know I have to deal with uh, with my Goal Monitor app. Um, just off the top of my head, um, not very well structured, just chucked them down. Um, just things to remind me that I need to do these things. Um, and then from there I'll do more and um, there's plenty to do. So. Um, I need to pick something to work on today. Um, let's see if we can knock one of these things out. So, off we got. Um, gold title should have better handling of prefix and suffix. Uh, I need to think about that. There's a couple of UI things I need to deal with there. Um, and schema changes potentially, if I'm going to do that. Um, so, I need to probably think about that, and I haven't really got time for that today. Um, Sparkling De definitely can't start the graph today. There's other things I need to do before I get there. I think I need to deal with measurements um, because at the moment there's no no way of adding or editing measurements. So once you've created your goal, you get your default first measurement um, and nothing else. So let's just double check that. So we've got basically uh, a measurement, but we've got no way of adding another one. Um, so like every week you should be recording a measurement or daily or whatever it is you're going to do um, until you get to your goal or down to your goal. Um, so we need to start looking at ways of um, adding some UI um, to deal with adding measurements. Um, so what should we do? Well, let's get started. Let's just start there. We know what kind of fields we need. We need these three, um, plus potentially which uh, goal we want it to go into. So let's get the uh, IDE up and running. Okay, I'll just do that. What plugins have we got? Oh, yeah, definitely want that updated. It's been a while since I've opened this up. Okay. Ah, and now the color has gone. Nord must have been updated. One second. There you go. Right. Uh, add measurement we're going to need then. Um, so what we're going to do, should we scaffold out the UI and then add the API? Or should we do it the other way around? Let's scaffold out the UI. I think, it's about, I, think I need to do a little bit of Svelte work today. Um, so at the moment, um, we've got some simple components for things like add, goal, and so on. Um, as you can see, we've got basically a form element uh, with submit handler. Um, we're going to probably want to be doing something similar to that. Um, what else have we got that's in that vein? We've got edit goal as well. Uh, same deal. We have a form um, with some inputs, including a, a composite uh, goal input one, which has just has a bunch of inputs in it. 
So we're going to probably be doing something very similar to this. We're going to have maybe a, like a measurement input. Um, although it's going to be a different, quite a different format to what I thought. Because I think what I want to do is I want to have like a global add measurement that will probably stick around all the time. So you probably just see it at the bottom when you've got at least one goal here. So that as soon as you enter the app, you've always got somewhere you can add a goal straight away. So a measurement. Okay, let's think about this. So what we're going to do I think we could probably take a copy of this as a basis and then we'll just uh, whip out some of the stuff there so uh, where's it gone Measurement input. Okay. Yeah, we're going to need a date input. And I think we're going to want the date to be the first element. Or do we? I guess we don't need to because the date, if the date defaults to today, you might want to just quickly enter a value and off you go. Yeah, let's do that. So we have no verbal value to get rid of some, get rid of them, uh, verbal prefix. Don't need the suffix. What we do need is a value. Um, and this is going to be the measurement we're creating. This is uh, date taken. And then we've got some notes. Value date taken, nice. Okay, what was that that disappeared there? Oh, auto focus. Huh, hold on a second. We'll stick that back in because we do want auto focus. Um, 
There we go. Now, do I want to wrap that? I'm probably going to want to do a little bit of that. Um, flex on that, I think. We'll come back to it. At the moment, we just need to get the, the fields up and usable. And then we can do with uh, what we're actually going to do with it. So we have a measurement input component. Now we need to actually use it somewhere. So let's go to the goals. In fact, we don't want it on goals. We want it on goals page. I think. Because we will then also want it on the goal page. Although, yeah. That's going to be interesting, actually. There is an issue there in that we're not passing goals here. Goals itself is doing all the grabbing of the goals. Oh, no, it's... Hmm. I know. We kind of want the add, we want the measurement input. To include. No, I was right. So I was, what I was thinking there was maybe that I could have like the goal select as part of the measurement input, but I'm not sure that's a good idea. Depends on if I want to reuse it in a edit measurement. I guess if I don't pass in a, me a goal, and I am passing in a measurement, that wouldn't make sense. Hmm. Well, I think, for the time being, We will add a, a little um, list item for the goal. Yeah. And we'll probably change this in a minute. Hmm. Actually, that's probably goal ID. I can't remember. 
Um, let's think. In the definitions. Let's think where we got that. Definitions model. Doesn't give me the JSON value there. Let's look at the generated. Of course, I haven't done any of that yet. Oh, yeah, there we go. Goal ID. Okay. So it's always going to be capitalized ID. I want to make sure and keep it consistent. It's been a while. All right. So, oh, I'm going to change all this anyway. <laughs> Don't want that. So we want to select here. Um, and we're going to have to go through. Goals. Oops, I always do that one. Uh, now I can't remember what the goals are formatted as. Let's have a quick look at my goals page. off. No, don't do that. Wrong thing. Right. Yeah, that should be good. So I want all the goals should be in an order where it's um, the most recent, or uh, most, yeah, the most, yeah, the one that needs to be dealt with first should be top. So let's do that. I'll keep them as uh, normal order. Uh, nope, I just want an option, thanks. Uh, I will just whack in the goal. Oh no. Goals dot title with the goal. Um value. Just going to be call ID. So 
stick some ID on here. ID will just be goal ID and we'll find measurement dot All right, we'll see how that goes in a minute. And then we're going to do in the later on, we'll do a little thing where if you pass in the measurement, then we'll probably disable that selector or even hide it because it's not relevant if you already know the measurement. And I don't want to be like changing a measurements goal. So it'll either be hidden or just disabled, but we'll get to that. Let's see how this actually works first. So we have a goal, we have a value, we have a date taken and we have some notes. Um, and that's going to look terrible at the moment. Nothing like what I want, but it's a start. So let's see what we're going to do with it. I'm going to stick it on goals page. And we'll just, ah, no, we won't. What we need is an add measurement component. So what we're going to do here, we're going to have, oh, yeah, a bit. Oh, I'm not got com I've not got focus. Thank you. Let's think we're going to want to, we'll just whack in a uh, measurement input. And for the time being, we don't need any input. Okay. All right. Now at some point we're going to have to do something with this data, so we'll have to put a button on. But let's see if this just compiles and actually puts a bunch of fields on the um on the page. Nope. Let's 
genau. Because it doesn't know what it is. Good point. Hmm. It doesn't know the shape of it at the moment. So what did I do with that goal? Yeah. I set the defaults and then passed it in. Okay, let's do that. We're going to have, we're going to have Did we pass in the, no we didn't Didn't pass in any ID, that's good We don't know it yet So what we do want is a gold ID. Do we just have that as empty, I guess? Got to be careful about this. Otherwise, I'll just go bang. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just have to be careful about how we handle it, because we don't want it to go bang. Um, do now. Yeah, what format do we want for that?
Got it. think that'll do us. Still doesn't know. We'll fall down there then. I don't understand why it's complaining on this, but not on goal. Oh. No, no, that's fine. Oh, value. Uh, okay. Coffee time. Yeah. Sometimes it's... Uh, Early doors. Right, there we go. So we want to bind value. To the measurement goal ID. That's all. Fine. Okay. Right, okay, well that's fine, because what we wanted uh There was access to a bad measurement. So we've now got a little dummy thing there. And then at some point in here, we're going to put in the controls to save, cancel, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that makes better sense than what I was going to do before. Okay. There we go. Let's see how terrible this looks. It's had no positioning, no starting whatsoever. Mm. Uh oh. We have a problem. Huh. 
did not expect that. Why? We know goals are good. Oh. I want the value of goals, not not the actual store. Here we go. All right. We have some fields. Now, of course, it picked the, uh, the last. Glue didn't have a default. I'll have to sort that out because I probably want, if nothing is passed in, to do that. To pick the first because we really want that. Sort that out first. Uh, do, 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 do. So we want selected, we want the value there, don't we? So What do we want to do here? I guess we want to do a little thing where on the first one we want to set it hmm. It's difficult to do when you've got a templated thing. Don't really want to be doing uh, shenanigans in there. Um, okay. If so this is going to be Interesting when there is no goal ID. If goal ID. Yeah. I think I want a little check there just to make sure. Um, 
Um, what's the syntax for that again? <laughs> uh, oh, missed a bit. Ah, oh, I'm in the wrong place, that's why. <laughs> I was a bit confused there, didn't come autocomplete. Right, otherwise we don't... Uh, I should have just taken that first. Right, if I just did it here, we have selected it. I have to be careful here. Yeah, I'm doing this in the wrong place. That selector should be in the ad. Should be in the ad goal. <laughs> Yeah, otherwise I risk changing the, the goal on the measurement. Ah, oh, yeah, numpty. All right. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. So, yeah. I think I can get the index, and then I don't even have to, even have to have a variable, do I? If it's, the if it's the first one. Oh, I should don't even need to do that, do I? Yeah, no, I'm good. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, right, we don't need that in here anymore. I'm going to stick it in here. And don't need I just need to get the first and I think I've got an there's an index on spells in there on that thing. If I do uh each Yeah.
zero layer zero base by looks of things. That's fine. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, done. So if it's the first item, select it. Otherwise, because in the future, what we can do is we can probably do a, maybe add a little, um, if not like a user setting, uh, maybe just a, a cookie that keeps hold of what was the last goal you selected. Um, so that when you come back, it's, it's pre-populated with that goal for your, your quick add. But at the moment, we'll just take the first. Okay, so head measurement, take the first, select it, otherwise, Show anything else? That's all in there, that's fine. Okay. There we go. So if I just force it there and then refresh again, yeah, good. And we auto selected the value, although it didn't auto focus it. Ah, oh, because of the data uh, value input, uh, number input. Hmm. We'll see. Let's see about that. Now we've got date taken does the normal stuff and then we've got some notes. Oh, blimey, I'm out of time already. All right, I've got to go already. Um, didn't realize having too much fun. Okay. All right, so that's not bad. We've got some fields on there. They look to be okay-ish. Uh, we need to do some styling. Um, I think what I'm going to be doing is um, well, apart from styling, styling, of the, I haven't done any styling of form elements yet, but that will be a default thing we'll do. Um, I think I want the notes to be like a hidden field underneath or something, or maybe just stretch it underneath. Um, and then, of course, we need some sort of button to say, yeah, go add this now. Um, and then we're going to have to do something to make it responsive as well. Um, because at the moment, I'm sure it'll be a mess. We'll see. I might change it so that um, these are actually above. We'll see. What's it like when you do an ad goal at the moment? Yeah. So I might do something a bit more like that, but horizontal. So that it's like a bar at the bottom and I'll have it fixed. I think. Maybe. Me. We'll see. Right, anyway, gotta go. Um, so, uh, until next time, uh, you take care.